go! <laughs> yes! Uh, we can kitchen sink this next turn, though, I believe. That was turn five, right? Was that turn five? Or was that turn, like, four? I can't even tell what turn we're on. What turn was that? <laughs> was that turn four? No, oh, that was turn three! Sorry! My bad! My bad! <laughs> that was turn three! <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So I'm really excited for this deck. The ramp is real, is mill. Uh, this is a combination between a mill and a ramp deck. So uh, basically what you're trying to do is play your nebula and then play one of your basically brain vendor and then get a six drop out early. The other way to win with this deck is to keep on bouncing everything they have off the board with your backyard bounces, your pogos, your mix of grave diggers. Um, you know, the regifting zombies is actually good at making them also draw cards. They're going to end up with so many cards in their hand that they're actually not going to be able to block. One of the tricks in this game, of course, if they have 10 cards in, in their hand, uh, your opponent, that is, they will not be able to block because that essentially draws them another card. You can't draw a card uh, while you already have 10 in your hand. Anyway, running some bonus attacks. I'm actually running Halocopter, uh, which is a card that I... you basically rarely ever see me use uh the reason we're running uh that is because it is does cost six so it does work with the nebula brain vendor combo um it also what it also does is that if you have a brain vendor and you stick it into a gravestone for example with the mixed up grave digger that'll give you three and if something else triggers a, a, a nebula also then that'll give you another three and then you'll be able to play the helicopter afterwards i think that's actually going to be uh, a useful combo anyway this deck's going to be a lot of fun to play there's several ways of winning let's see how it goes we are of course running the kitchen sink zombie as one of our six drops in this deck and we're running the sharks just to give a little bit of amphibious presence as well this is so good if you can get this out on turn three anyway here it is huge giganticus the ramp is mill deck let's get right into the first game here we go Go. Can this deck work with Super Brains? I think it's going to be a little bit better with uh, Huge Giganticus. I guess it could work with Super Brains. Why not? Yeah, why not? No reason why not. I just like HG. His, if it, you know, his Super is good. I guess Telepathy kind of works. Uh, you really want either Super or or the Imp on turn one because we really have like no turn one plays. <laughs> one of the interesting things about this deck. You basically fall behind the first couple of turns and then you get really strong ahead on turn three, hopefully, if you can pull off the, the Wombo combo. Um, so this isn't bad. We do have a two. Uh, this three really... Mm, we could go with the three. We could really keep this. It's two. Um... Should I go for, a, like, another bounce, perhaps? I if we keep the Brain Vendor here. We could top deck Nebula also. I think we're going to keep this. Playing Brain Vendor and then uh, Mix of Gravedigger could be a thing. And yes, we got a one. I'll take it. That's really good to start with. The Mixed Up... Yeah, Mixed Up Gravedigger, you know, will give you a couple, a few extra brains if you have that on the field already. <laughs> it just plays that. Okay. Yay. Now what? Oh, I can play this. Give this man a nebula. Let's go down Ross King. And freeze. Dang. <laughs> Piece of trash garbage. Ah, oh, we are falling behind. This is such a come from behind deck, especially with the pogos and the mix of grave diggers. Uh, we, uh, Gatekeeper could have been good. I, I feel like it's a little bit too slow, though. You're right, Gatekeeper would be good in this deck. I just, I feel like back air bounce is more important. Some removal value. We have, like, no play here. Unfortunately. Ugh. Banana! Wait. But it's gonna do the damage. Die! This is freeze. <laughs> Holy moly! All right, well, then what? he's using a lot of cards. We are going to be taking a little bit of damage here, but we're going to be able to be bouncing uh, bouncing these, these snowdrops off the field on turns four and five. So the come from behind is real. If we get an, another back, you know, if we get a backyard bounce or a bonus attack, we can do like Brain Vendor. Um, wow. Uh, we actually might have an amazing play with Helicopter now. If we play Brain Vendor, Brain Vendor mix of Grave Digger, then... Uh, Nah, we're not going to have enough lanes. Oh, well. 
Oh, we'll get something eventually. If we get backyard bounds, I think we'll play a brand vendor next turn. This is a bonus attack. Harsh. Harsh. You could win right here. Let's keep the pogo, because we need to. Die. And <laughs> he rolled a one again? Come on, man. Ha. Ah. I don't know what is with my luck nowadays. It seems like recently in all the streams, there's been, like, every stream, there's been a bunch of games that we lose just based on crappy block meters. He hit me four times, but it didn't block. Whatever. Whatever. That's so stupid. How does this deck win? Uh, wins by getting out your big cards earlier, or just by Pogo mixed up grave, digging them to the grave. And there's another green shadow. Yay. Um, I'm going to get rid of the fire rooster. <laughs> the mill is real. And I get that crappy environment. Where's super? I want super. <laughs> Who even plays Peapod? Who even plays that card? It's definitely not a tempo deck. Uh, where's Nebula when you need it? Die! here we can do this and freeze next turn actually and strike through I just don't want him playing like a, um, a what's it called a, a torch with there I think this should be fine go ooh nebula nice and of course <laughs> he's running Click piece also. Uh, all right, so the regifter and freeze is gonna be good next turn. Does a Harvey mode damage? It's in the box. We have no one drops except for teleport anyway, so we can pass that turn. And <laughs> this freeze is really good. Look at this play. No! Why? Oh, come on, man. What the heck just happened? Do we freeze it to pre prevent the damage? We do, or else we're, we're, we're going to be milled, actually. So we'll do that. That <laughs> prevents five damage, too. Come on, man. That would have killed everything, too. <laughs> Uh, I guess it's gotta be Pogo. <sighs> Not like that. Go! Haha! <laughs> Strike through value. Uh, we're gonna actually have two bounces. See, we're gonna do the, the Brain Vendor mixed up Gravedigger now. And we're actually gonna be able to have several bounces. This is fine. Definitely doing this. Die. Oh, yeah. And thank you so much, Outdated Just Cafe. take Zay money, and I want to know if this enough to battle Yahaha. D also, hi. Yes, <laughs> just hi. Thanks, Outdated Cafe. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get you at the end of the stream, sure. No problem. Uh, prehistoric va vampire card. I can actually react to some of those videos if you guys want me to. I, I could do that at the end of the stream. I, I think these games are going to go relatively quickly. Um, should definitely be checking these gravestones. Pogo's there. So we're going to have two bounces here, actually. Oh! Oh! Um, so we're definitely going to bounce this one. Um... Let's see here. We don't really want the the pogo to. Get, we could hit just hit him with the thing, um, or we could just kill the pod father. And what is this? <laughs> oh, you're Doak. Oh, what's going on, Doak? Okay, hold on. We're gonna want to um. 
Maybe we'll just Nebula here, and then we can bounce something next turn. Yeah, I think that's better. So do it like this. There you go. There you go. It's good to probably kill the Podfather, since he could really make great Podfather combos and stuff coming up. Um, so it looks like it's going to be... <laughs> strike through. It's going to be the... Um... Wow. <laughs> Brain Bender. Um... I think let's do it like this. There's no real point in Brain Bendering right now. Or it's BM Rising when you need it. So that'll give us three. We'll we'll either teleport in a regifter or we will um or we will bounce something. He's gonna bounce us. That's nice. We can actually teleport regifter bounce now if we want to. If that's what we want. If that's what we want. We can bounce that. Um Bounce and hit him for five? I think so. Die. <laughs> We're just making so many brains. Go! Evil pig. Didn't proc our block? I think that's actually a good thing. I'll probably prevent a, more than one damage. Come in it. Die. Wait, so this will... We can actually do pogo this turn as well. Huh. It's not bad. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Uh, Pogo, because why not? Yes, the bounce is real. Of course we hold on to Brain Vendor there. You know, just play Brain Vendor. Just whenever, since it's free. It's not the way that card works, you guys. He <laughs> got one of these beans. That's fine. And... It's gonna grow the pee pad. No, he grew that one! Oh, we're just going to bounce it now. <laughs> we're going to bounce it probably anyway. Okay. I think we let our we let our mixed up grave digger go there. Let it go, let it go and hit him for the 8 damage bullseye. He's going to be down to 1 health here. Uh, plus we're going to have two two of these guys. We're going to have two uh, two kitchen sink zombies on the uh, on the on the field here, we could win here. We have one and three of lethal. This is two, plus six bullseye, plus got him. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes. These games are gonna go quick. The quickness is real. Uh, well, I do more Z-Mech in the future. I don't know. Again, Z-Mech is still very weak. I wish they would add a hard removal card for the Hardy class. Dang, z would become viable. I think z would actually become one of the better heroes in the game, possibly, if they would do that. It would definitely be up to par if they, if they gave the Hardy class some hard removal. Uh, let's go down, Michael. I, I don't want to give the Crazy class hard removal because I think that's going to make Brainstorm a little bit too good, like Control Brainstorm decks like Professor Paytowin is just going to make that deck a little bit too good. But I, I want to see it with the Hardy. They want to make Rust Bolt. Rust Bolt could become better anyway. All the Hardy heroes are weak, except for Neptuna, but... Tuna, anyway, is Pogo mixed up Grave Digger. I always ramp about, rant about this. Maybe I should make a video explaining what what do I want to see in the future of this game. It's actually not a bad idea. I'm gonna write that down in my deck ideas. Turn. Okay, um, uh, the bounce, oh, let's get rid of helicopter for starters, we can actually do two, five, two, three, oh, that's not bad, let me get rid of this one now, I need two nebulas, alright, that should be fine. There we go, start off with freeze environment. It's nice. Best deck for each hero, yeah. I kind of did that yesterday. I, I I could do that, though. I think we're going to Nebula here. Come on, uh, the, the environment thing. I don't know. Okay. That's all gooch. So we can mix up Gravedigger already. I think that's actually really good. <laughs> we can just mix up Gravedigger every turn. 
die. No, we can't. What am I talking about? We can pogo. Sorry. I made a mistake. Miscalculate. If you have a one drop, you can mix up your You got two drop, you can just do this. Maybe he'll remove the uh, the rooster. That'll be nice. Wild berry. Does it move the, the rooster here? I don't think it does. <laughs> Get bounced. Chicka, 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 chicka. Get bounced. Die. All right, this will be turn four now. Trick or treater is not OP. Smarty class. It could. It does have hard removal with, you know, winter melon, but it could use some more removal too. You're right. Nah, it's just freeze environment, I guess. <laughs> There's that. If, if freeze environment keeps this alive, we'll definitely go for it. Huh. Um, no. Go. Don't get super yes. Okay. <laughs> Don't plot, please, there. Uh, here we go. Here you go. Y'all guys. We could play Pogo. You know, we could go Pogo and then... How much would we have? One, two, three, four. <laughs> mix up Grave... Yeah, let's just mix up Grave Digger. We'll have three more. We can bonus attack and, and use our environment. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. I hope these actually get mixed up the other way. Yeah, I'd like to play the environment on the... It doesn't matter. Hmm. And... No. <laughs> the heal is not real. Dang. <laughs> we, did, we missed our... We missed our, our nebula value there. That's alright. Die. Bum bum. He's gonna get rid of this. It's almost for sure gonna be able to get rid of this. Let's see if he gets more spore. That would be really nice. But otherwise, Pogo is going bye-bye. Goodbye, Pogo. Goodbye, Pogo man. Uh, mix of Grave Digger and then the environment. Looks pretty good. I don't really need to pogo. Here, a pogo bonus attack. Pogo bonus attack's not bad either. Oof. It's not so easy, actually. And then we have double bounce the turn after. I think this is the play. Go! Then just the environment, because he's going to play hard to choke in lane two. It'll be fine. <laughs> Trick or Treater gets buffed. I could react to a bunch of videos if we have time at the end. I think I'm going to do 10 games with this, a little bit of PvP, and then we'll do the videos at the end. And yes, <laughs> you kind of lucked out, but yeah, that was actually worst case scenario because we really want to cover that environment. That gets frozen, we do 10 damage to him, la la la. Depending on the rolls here, we might actually just go for Halocopter. Yep, it's Halocopter for sure. This way, even if he removes everything, we've got this guy. We can also do double back air bounds. We can do bonus attack. We can do a bunch of stuff. Ah, uh, we can have like quadruple lethal here. Mmm. Somebody's trying to pull. Piece of trash garbage. And one more ring that one. Boop. <laughs> it's pretty good. Bonus attack has a very similar, but this is actually better. We'll be able to bonus attack next turn. It's nice having another whole minion on the field. They can't just remove him. That's lethal. Got him. So just lost that one green shadow with the snowdrops and like two snowdrops, two freezes, and lucky blocks. No way to beat that. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to do video reactions that have nothing to do with Plants vs. Zombies. I think that'll be good. That'll be so out of my element, but <laughs> we can try it. This deck always comes from behind. You always fall fall behind and then you come back severely. That's how most of the games are going to go. That's the reason why this deck is so exciting. Uh, we need something to, to ramp up with this Nebula, though. Alright, this might work. 
Why do we always start with the freezing fire? I want HG Super. Come on. Come on, man. We've started this. We've had three games starting with this environment and one with the imp. I want the super so badly. Freeze cards. I do play uh, fr friendly battles at the end of the stream. Last 15 minutes. And it's a bullseye deck. No one cares. Seriously, no one cares. Die. More cards. Oh, yeah. And thank you so much, Think Kyle. Hey, Fry. You thank you for making a video last night, and it was fun. Also, I'm supposed to get a huge paycheck today, so when I can... I will give you like 10% because of your hard effort and to pay for your broken computer. Thank you so much. You're so nice. That is so generous of you, man. I'm so happy you didn't have a grave buster there. This is good. We really want the ramp again next turn. Thank you so much, man. You're just, yeah, I think Kyle's a relatively new viewer of the stream, or at least new in the chat, and it's just been so, so generous lately. So I really appreciate it, man. Dang. Dang, what can I say? We can Brain Vendor here if we want. He didn't have the Grave Buster last turn. We could do this. We could just get Double Bounce. What if we Brain Vendor? Brain Vendor mixed up Grave Digger actually looks pretty good. Whoa. Uh, yeah, it definitely does. <laughs> That's actually insane. It is insane. We'll put this on the, on the, on the ground so we can... <laughs> We're actually going to get six more Brains this turn. We're actually going to be able to, I think, teleport Shark also. This is ins Look at this play, you guys. We're going to be able to teleport Shark when these, as long as he doesn't Grave Buster like the one in lane two. And, oh, we should check the, uh, here's the Brain Vendor. Uh, so the Mix of Grave Digger's going to hit anyway. The Brain Vendor dying is fine. Um, I think we just want the Shark in the water here. <laughs> Die. This is insane! Wait, so there's three more. We're gonna get eight. We can actually even do the freeze <laughs> also. The freeze is real. What just happened? So teleport shark, I guess. Ugh, that's scary. Look at this play. If we get oh, another mixed up, that's nice. Hold on, wait a second. So do we want the freeze environment now that now that we have mixed up Gravedigger here? Uh, we're going to want to mix up Gravedigger next turn and... Do we want to keep this on the field? Oh, uh, why not? <laughs> Die! More damage! Okay. I'd love to roll a 2 and a 3 here. There's a 2. Ah, oh, dang. All right, so the shark will hit, which is good. And um, so now we're going to mix up Gravedigger Bounce next turn. Look how great this is going. <laughs> I could use even just one more Backyard Bounce. That's six damage. And here comes this. <laughs> so we get a Bounce, and we get six extra Brains. <laughs> this is pretty insane. And just a bunch of garbage on the field here. That was turn f This is turn five, you guys. Turn five. Time to bounce everything. There's the shark. There's our extra brains. And more extra brains. Bounce this guy. Ah, oh, we're gonna win this turn. We actually had a backyard bounce we can hit with the shark just across the block too. And we are three and one. Got him. Oh, I can't wait to start with HG Super. Come on, give us Super. <laughs> the cupcake. Thanks, Outdated Cafe. The cupcake is real. Uh, we're almost hit Ultimate League. Who knows? We'll probably hit it. We'll probably actually end it today. I'm going to do like a new version of Ramp Rose tonight with Briar Rose and all that. And uh, hopefully we'll hit Ultimate League tonight, actually. That would be nice. Daily Challenge? No. Uh, I'll do it after this game. I really want to start with Super. It's such good for so good for ramping. Come on, man. 
The nebulas work just fine in this deck. Ooh, there's nebula. Brain vendor. Uh, brain vendor. I wonder if we get rid of the mix of Gravedigger here. Nah. Cupcake. Yes! Yes, we got super! Yes! Ah, oh, this is gonna be amazing. This is gonna be insane. The insanity is real already. Look at this hand, too. Ugh. Go! Give us a good environment, please. And we get Trapper. It's not bad. It's not bad. You know what I'm saying. Alright, Brain Vendor. <laughs> Another Nebula. So it's going to be the Nebula environment and the Trapper environment, I believe. And we're going to start ramping next turn. And, oh man, we're going to mill this guy. We're going to mill this guy hard. There's that. Beans! Alright, so we're going to do this here. And we're going to do this here. <laughs> the ramp is real. The ramp is insane. So now we can play one plus, ooh. How do we do this now? Another Nebula. So we always do this. Don't, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. There's Brain Vendor. So we can Brain Vendor mix up Grave Digger Helicopter. That looks pretty good. <laughs> that looks pretty good. And then helicopter. Hel Do we definitely want the helicopter? Actually, it doesn't matter because it's in the trap. Go! Now we're going to make six more brains. So we can helicopter. This is one of the reasons. It's for this reason that we're really running the helicopter in this deck. Uh, because when you get like two shots, two rams, basically a nebula and a brain vendor off the mix of Gravedigger, you can just play helicopter at the end of the turn. Now we're not playing shark. We're going to go mix of Gravedigger helicopter way better than shark. The 5-5 five, five and a 6-5. And he <laughs> plays Spirus just to mix things up a little bit. It's not really going to do much for you. It's a good thing he didn't have the... Even if he would have had the... What's it called, though? Um, even if he would have had Cool Bean, it wouldn't have mattered that much there. This is a bean deck. And there's that. Oh! <laughs> I think that's a mistake. I think that's a mistake. Because I we're going to be able to ramp now. And doing the brain vendor dying right now is perfect. No problem. There's that. More cards! <laughs> Can he, is he getting milled here? No, not even close. And kitchen sink. Man, teleport kitchen sink would have been cool there. Go! <laughs> yes! Uh, we can kitchen sink this next turn, though, I believe. That was turn five, right? Was that turn five? Or was that turn like four? I can't even tell what turn we're on. What turn was that? <laughs> was that turn four? No, that was turn three. Sorry. My bad. My bad. That was turn three. <laughs> that was insane. That was turn three. <laughs> There's turn four. We're coming in with hell. Let's just wait this one out. I think we'll concede if we wait it out. All right. Let's do this. And we'll uh, nebula, I guess. Then we can shark and something. <laughs> that was turn three. <laughs> How good are ramp decks? Ah, now you guys know why I'm running helicopter in this deck. That is the reason why. It just works if you happen to pull off Nebula, Brain Vendor, Helicopter. That's on turn three. That's also amazing. So that's a good six. Really, it's a helicopter's underrated card. I'd say by myself. Got him. <laughs> I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. <laughs> I have a great idea for the intro of this video. It's gonna be that right there. I'm gonna make a little quiz. Uh, it's gonna be perfect. Uh, where's highlights? Uh, now what is he doing?
This is game five. Uh, yeah, why not? Go! That got frozen. That's fine. Well, I can't win yet, but I'm getting pretty close. I wish I could teleport something in this turn. Super! Play Super! No. <laughs> I wanted to play Kitchen Sink. We can get him next turn with the kitchen. In fact, we can't even have a lane for kitchen now. We'll just play Shark. That's fine. <laughs> Die! <laughs> This is ridiculous. This is turn five, you guys. Look at look at our field. Pretty good. I must say. And yeah, we're gonna block, so. Yeah, got the mixed up, that's fine. Oh, that's not bad. The heal is real. I'll do the daily challenge after this. And <laughs> moving around, moving around. Does he have another one trap? One more click P. One more. Oh no, it dies! Ha <laughs> ha! The rooster shark. Yes! <laughs> I bet you weren't. Bet you weren't expecting that to happen. Yes! <laughs> rooster shark value. Rooster shark value. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Ah, oh, this deck is so evil. There you go. The rooster shark synergy. We're ending three roosters and two sharks. It's going to be an anomaly that we actually pull that off. Got him. Got him in the face. Always going to got him in the face. Uh, did you hear Baby Fry while I was gone? Oh, sorry. The music is like way too loud. Go. Okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, <laughs> Let's see if we can get a brain vendor. Uh, well, we can do this on turn three. It's not bad. Should I hold on to the helicopter? Nah. Shark. It'll be better here anyway. We got a teleportation station. That's nice. The box. Popping poopies. What is this? Forget me nuts? <laughs> I don't think I've ever had an opponent play forget me nuts against me before. Maybe one time. And go. <laughs> Passing against forget me nuts. That's nice. Second forget-me-nuts. I'm gonna kick you in the forget-me-nuts. Go to dinner? What time is it there? Late. You got a younger brother yesterday! Mazel tov. Congratulations! Wow! The heck? Uh, I don't even know if we cover it. It's kind of weird, but I don't think we're gonna cover it. Don't want our cards in there. <laughs> Such a weird play. We have so many more environments, we just have no need to cover that. Yes. It's in the box. Um, we'll play around another dickweed, so we'll put this on height. The slight play around strat. Ba-da, ba-da, ba-da. Maz Tov? No, Mazel, Mazel Tov. It's two words. M-A-Z-A-L-T-O-V. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. It depends how you pronounce it. It's congratulations. The notorious congratulations in Hebrew. What is this? Buffshoe? 
Tentatively, we're just gonna bounce the small shroom. Yes, and he berry blasts. <laughs> I'm happy to see that. Happy to see that, so that dies. What is this gonna be a pine clone deck, perhaps? Perhaps? Oh, now what? What are we gonna get here? Get a two drop, we can play a six, actually. Uh, well, it's gonna be Pogo. And uh, we can we can actually play environments now. That'll be fine. Play some environments. I'll take it. That dies. Piece of trash. What do we bounce? That's the real question. I think we'll keep the. Well, actually, we probably want to ramp again next turn. Well, let's get rid of this one. Really necessarily want to give that back. Okay, so this always happens. Do we do the teleportation station? Um, I could use a smaller card here. A brain vendor would be amazing. Cause then we could just play a whole nother card. Do I play this though? I wonder. If you had another environment, I think he would have played it already. Let's just do it like this. That's fine. That dies. So we're at least going to be able to play Kitchen Sink here. Uh, I would love to get a... Oh, no, wait. It's only turn five? Oh, now we can. Whew, that was close. <laughs> that was close. Okay, so this always goes right here. Now we can play one of our six drops. Uh, what's the best one? Again, we you don't really benefit from ramping at all. I think we just go with the kitchen. Kitchen sink. I always call him the bungee plumber. Now the, the just the plumber zombie because he has a plumber in his face. He can't even see the kitchen sink. He's kind of like holding it. It's hard. You have to like squint to see what it is. He has just this big old plumber on his. What do you call it? Plumbing stick. Whatever you call those things. Plumber thing. What is it called? The thing on his head. It's just called a plumber. No, plumber's the guy. It's the thing. A plunger. Sorry. The plunger! And kill that. We just need some small cards and we all the ramp so badly here. The ramp is real. Wow. So this, we're going to get a teleport too, so we can actually teleport into shark if we feel like it. This does 8 damage to face, which is nice. Uh, and we get a free teleport. The teleport's going to, you know, is going to draw us a card. Oh, no, we can't teleport. Ooh. Mixed up Gravedigger. Oh, wait a second. Mixed up Gravedigger will have... Five. Ah, uh, we're close. No, we do have six here. Mixed up grave digger. Man, where does the shark go? It's not many. I mean, it could have whatever. I think let's play this here. I think we're probably gonna use the the teleport this turn. I would like to do that just to draw cards. Let's play this right in this environment. Get a few extra brains instead of playing in the water. Kitchen sink is OP. Look at the setup here. Again, we could have put the shark in the water. Theoretically, would have done one extra damage, but if you can't kill the kitchen sink, it's lethal anyway. If it's gonna be able to strike through, gets it meteored. And <laughs> all right, eight more damage. <laughs> yes, that's fine. We. Teleport. Uh, so we have eight on the field right now. There's no way we can really get more. Oh man, another mixed up. Okay. Die. Where's Brain Vendor? <laughs> if we get Brain Vendor, we can play like a thousand cards this turn. Die. Now mixed up. And teleport. So I would like to reserve the right to teleport. Um, really just Halocopter wins. Should we mix up Gravedigger here and let him have double Gravebuster? Eh, even if he does. Well, if he, if actually, if he Gravebusts that one, then we can't teleport. I think it's the right play here is actually pass, which is weird. You could play, like, two Forget-Me-Nuts. That would mess it up a little bit. Okay. 
Kitchen sinks were always deadly in real life. Yeah, I know. He's just fronting the plumber to try. He's trying to wear it down like one turn at a time. It's not helping. Could be he doesn't want me to block also, but. Fronting kitchen sink. If you front it with something with four health, which again, for a six cost card, it's pretty easy to front it with something with four health. One of the problems with kitchen sink, it's base attack. Isn't very big. <laughs> Yay! No! No more forget me nuts! No more! <laughs> oh, we could have done it in the in the in the environment at all. We missed a little bit of BM. It's all good! We could have BM'd there by teleporting in the mix of Gravedigger and just stalled for time. That would have been fun. What's the most hated card? I don't know. Hated? I hate cards that s suck, so trick or treater. Most hated card. Or ghost. Ghost, I think, should come back again and again and again. It would be a decent card then. It wouldn't even be that good. It would be pretty good though. I don't think it would be OP. If it just ghost got the same thing as. What's it called? Ghost got the same thing as. Uh, as. 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 Octo Zombie. Is Ghost getting a buff? It's going on Skylamber, Italy, cool. Bounce is pretty good. So is Shark. Err. Ah, we'll keep this. We need the bounce for turn three just to stabilize a little bit. Man, where is Super when you need it? That was teleportation station is the worst one to get in this situation here. Yeah, I heard the, the treats are getting buffed. That'll be exciting. Trick or Treater might become a decent card. I wish the trace would just cost one. <sighs> Alright, now what? Pass. Treats are getting buffed. One cost one three or two cost three one? Really? Seems like th one three is better anyway. Sugary still cost two. What the heck? Seriously? No! Alright, we need Brain Vendor. Badly. <laughs> this is turn two, by the way. Yeah, guys. Where's Brain Vendor? Come on, Brain Vendor. <laughs> we need to block, but this thing is not helping. Uh, come on, he's rolling just all ones! Stop! <laughs> no, bad Dobby. Very bad Dobby. Hey, we can bounce. Or we can... He's just gonna get more click peas now, but that's fine. More! The mill is real! <sighs> There's pogos. Yay! Really? Please get the one in lane two. Thank you. No! And another click fee. What do you know? <laughs> it's kind of my fault. It's totally my fault. And we lose, as usual. This is nice. Die. Could have done bonus attack. Probably not worth it. Uh, he actually usually wins now because of this thing nerfing our block meter. Of course he rolls a 1. Of course he rolls a 1. Now he's going to roll a 1. And a 1. Oh, <laughs> we rolled a 3. Yay! Ah, get frozen. Alright, we need a little card. Let's go. Come on, Brain Vendor, where are you? Where are you, Brain Vendor? Just keep bouncing the click piece. That'll be a good strategy. Ah, get milled. Get milled, son. I should put that in three, actually. My bad! 
Yes, Brain Vendor Value. <laughs> Go! We're gonna win, you guys. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. Uh, now we play this one. Should I uh, go for bonus attack? Or go for regifting zombie? Well, let's go for bonus attack, why not? This kitchen sink zombie could actually lead us to victory here. I don't think our, our opponent's gonna play anything. That's my guess. There's gonna be zero plays. Freeze, piece of trash garbage. Why? And. Uh, it still does the two damage. Uh, this is fine. Die. <laughs> Goodbye, Crave. Love how they scamper off the field. They're like, woo! Goodbye. Die. What is this? Three plus three actually kills this thing. Come on, man. Uh, it's fine. Our kitchen sings are gonna gonna win the game here. Gets bounced. Need little cards. Teleport does not help. box. Uh, something cost two or less would be nice, or just brain vendor. Ooh, got brain vendor. There you go. Can mix up grave digger. Uh, should be fine. <laughs> We're gonna get a lot of bounces now. And the mill is gonna be real. Uh, can we win this turn? I wonder. Die! <laughs> Yes! Alright, so we're gonna make another um, nine brains this turn. So we can bounce, bonus attack. We can do a lot of stuff here. Please don't have bean freeze, that would suck. Snapdragon. Oh, we should be checking. Uh, wait, hold on. Alright, so we need the Kitchen Sing Zombie to do like a million damage this turn. We're gonna draw two more cards, that's fine. Is he milled? I think he actually is milled here. There's Halocopter. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. By the time we're done bouncing, he's definitely milled. I think we can actually win this turn. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we're gonna win. Um, let's teleport just for argument's sake. We're not gonna run out of brains anytime soon. So it's gonna be bounce bonus attack. Uh, I think we won. Yep. Especially now that we got that shark, we definitely won now. Now we do bonus attack with this one. Oh look, you're milled! No one even cares! And we just do freaking shark. He's totally milled. No, it's guaranteed lethal actually. Uh, yep. <laughs> That's guaranteed lethal, he can't block! Everything's gonna hit here, the shark is gonna have like eight attack we actually won that game <laughs> this is actually guaranteed lethal he cannot block it didn't even matter it's all bullseye damage anyway yeah actually no he really theoretically could block here but two he, j he can't block even if he rolls a three i want him to roll a three just for the bm value roll a three roll a three <laughs> the eight damage and he rolled a two oh, too bad <laughs> The come from behind victory. This is the guy who got three click beats. He was ruining us. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. <laughs> How do you guys like that play? How do you guys like that play? That was insane. Uh, that's a that's a highlight. I don't know if it's gonna be intro worthy, but uh, game. Wow, seven and huge play and come from behind <laughs> wow that guy is probably fuming now Ugh. just imagine his anger <laughs> that's evil highlight madness dang this deck is really performing well 
the mill victory. We really haven't. The mill's kind of a joke, but everything else works. It works. It twerks. Uh, really want to get Nebula. Yes. Ooh, did I look for a bigger card? Pogo is good enough. We'll hopefully get a bigger card soon. Come on. Teleportation station. I want. We have a couple draws here to try to get a get a good card. Come on, man. If not, it's just gonna be Pogo and ew. Oh no, that's not good. All right, Nebula Brain Vendor. Come on, give us a six. We have so many in this deck. Oh, that's not bad. And thank you so much, Outdated Cafe. I <laughs> appreciate it. What is this? Do you see anything similar? Repeat Moss and Click Peas. They both need no skill. There you go. All right, this is gonna go right here. Uh, super, you know, hitting this is gonna be fine. So I think it's gonna be Brain Vendor mix up Brave Digger Bounce, something like that. Oh yeah, it's pretty good. Doesn't really matter where. There we go. I'd love that to end up in that lane, but brain vendor. And we can do the teleportation station too. It'll give us feed us some good cards. In fact, the teleportation station will kind of work wherever that that one does. We're gonna bounce. I'm gonna be able to bounce now. I wonder if it's worth doing this here. Nah, let's do it here. I really want, I really want the the iron border to end up in the ground so we can teleportation station on it. So um, this is gonna wow. We're actually gonna make six six more brains this turn. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, that's annoying. Let's wait a second. There's Surf Border, so the environment's gonna go in that lane. Uh, this ends up here. Hmm. Let's see here. Do we let the Gross Room grow? Go? Not grow. Do we get rid of the Lily? This always happens. Question is, where, where does the bounce go? Do we want to prevent the 4 damage? We'll be down to 14 health. Or do we want to hit him in the face? We do have a bounce for next turn, so what does that do? The lily, do we want the lily to die though? Maybe we just don't want him to have the lily ever. I think getting the gross room back is actually going to be more dangerous because that three three in the water is kind of gross. Let's let's bounce this one. It's we're it's just the face damage. We're gonna do ten damage to his face here. I think that makes it worth it. Another mix of grave digger wouldn't be bad, huh? It's turn four, you guys. <laughs> Teleport. Oh, let's do it like this, definitely. Let it bounce. Wow, any of these are fine. It's either a one cost card or giving us grave or giving us brain vendor back. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. And it makes us block. I'm gonna save this for the freeze, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna save it. We'll bounce whatever he puts in front of that anyway here. Magic Beanstalk. He's doing some, some real damage to us here. So we're gonna get rid of the gross room, I guess. Oh yeah! And? Great play, comeback of the year. Try to open a $16 pack to see if we can get the carrot. Thank you so much. Wait, which which pack? You can get the car Caratina in a pack? Thank you so much, man. Is that back? I'll look it up. Thank you so much, Michael. Really appreciate it. Man. Michael and Kyle. And Think Kyle. You guys have been so generous. I really appreciate you guys. Comeback of the century. So now what? Get the teleport. So what do we do now? Brain vendor will give us eleven. I guess brain vendor shark. Bounce. Looks pretty good to me. Wait, this will give us eight. Sorry. It's gonna be brain vendor shark 
And super, I guess. We could teleport Shark as well. Uh, he can't bring Nana. Do we lose anything by teleporting the Shark in? I think there's actually a lot to be gained by that. And we can still super. I think we're good to go. Galactic packs? You can get carrot and galactic packs? I'm not using blue stacks, I'm using uh, mirror go right now, actually. Hmm. Brain Vendor is back. You can't, you know, if he could have brain Nan out, I would have just played the shark there. You know, we can also bounce. We can do a lot of things here. <laughs> and that is very, very guaranteed lethal. Teleport! Uh, yep. <laughs> There's actually a couple, I think a couple ways we can do this. Oh, look, a fire rooster. That's nice. And get frozen. <laughs> Poke a mix of Grave Digger for the finish. Man! This deck is overperforming. Nebula's getting it done. What the heck? You can't get the carrot? I'll, I'll look it up. Is there really a chance? I, I don't think you can get the carrot, though. I can look into the pack. I wish you could just buy the carrotina. Does anyone have a source for the fact that you can? If you look in the pack, it'll tell you everything anyway. Uh, we're 7 and 1 now, I believe. Killing these guys. Ah, uh, it's 8 games. Go! Wait a second. If you go to bed at Caratina. No, don't challenge me. Not cool. You press here. Wait, you press her. No. I don't know what's going on here. Except friends at the end of the stream. That's going to be later. We started late today, so. I don't understand what you're saying. It's not working. Info. Unlock a hero. Tap this hero to learn how. Oh, there you go. Wait. It doesn't say how you unlock it, though. Lock? Tap this hero to learn how. I don't think it's going to work. Also, when you go to any pack in the shop, it's only for people who have better Caratina. You see, if you go to the packs in the shop, I'll show you something. Watch this. Uh, if you want to say Galactic Multi-Packs, um, it should have Beta Caratina on the top, if it's possible. The first thing, it doesn't have Beta Caratina in the list of cards you can get, which makes me believe that you cannot... I'm almost positive it would have Beta Caratina sitting on the top here, if that was available. Beta Caratina will be possible to get in the future, but I really don't think it's it's possible right now. They're not available yet. Yeah. Again, I'll, I'm gonna try to get better Caratina as soon as it comes out. You can only get it if you have it, basically. I'm just, it's not unlocked in the game yet, because I didn't buy it. Alright. Uh, anyway. Oops, nope, wrong deck. Wrong deck! The ramp is mill. Keep going here. Thank you so much, Skylander. I appreciate it. You know, again, I'm playing a small game. It happens to be on YouTube. I've noticed the numbers have gone way, way down recently just because people are getting burnt out of the game. They went very high up when Set 2 came out, but then it started going down again. They're not advertising the game or anything, so kind of sad. The sadness is real. All right, we need to get a good ramp to play. Let's go. Give this man a... Come on, really? 
We'll get a two drop at some point. And we get the stupid environment. I want either super, even little imp would have been good, because then we could have played imp and mixed up gravedigger. Anyway. If you haven't watched it on YouTube, I'm just saying in general, I can tell the numbers are going down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, do I even play this here and hope that we'll get either a 2 or a, or a brain vendor? I don't think so. It's kind of good to play slow against Rose because you want to get like frozen to the Ice Age. It's Pogo. I think we'll play the, the Nebula now. Maybe our opponent will play an environment. That would be nice. The heck is that? The ramp is real. Do we get rid of that? How much is he going to make next turn? Six. Oh, I don't think I can afford it. I think we're actually going to bounce this card. Would have been nice to play the Nebula there. And we could have gotten... Actually, we could have gotten two bounces. Uh, I should have played Nebula. Not bad. Yeah, I should have played Nebula. Because then whatever big card, we actually could have just bounced next turn. And we would have been able to kill that, that Sunflower, too. Ah, uh, stupid. <laughs> whatever. We do have Pogo, Pogo, Mix of Grave Digger, Mix of, mix of Grave... It really, everything would have been better if we would have played the Nebula there. There's that. See you later. Mr. Joe. Mr. Joke. <laughs> What's going on, Aviv? Why Shama? My soul. My soul is yearning! Uh, don't worry, Fry. You can't get huge GM. Rose with Briar Rose. This man, Poco Mix of Grave Digger again is isn't answered to, especially to a hero that's not have Grave Busters. It's like freeze, but get bounced again. <laughs> That's nice. Ah, playing that nebula would have been great, but whatever. The mill is real. Whoa! Um, I don't think we can afford to do the brain vendor though. Nah, it's got to be like this. And uh, strike through, we can actually do. I think our opponent's milled now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So unless our opponent plays a trick here, which I don't know which trick it's going to be heal. I guess, no, Taco draws a card. I don't know which trick she can play that doesn't draw her a card here. I think we're I think we're absolutely milled. Yep, that draws a card. We're just going to play Mix of Gravedigger and keep it up. Still at 10. Any minions that she would have played there is gonna are gonna get uh shabounced. <laughs> this is Pogo mix of Gravedigger at its finest. Um, so this was turn six. We're gonna have seven next turn. I don't, I don't think there's a reason to play this this card yet. Uh, no blocks though. Zero block is <laughs> the mill is free. Why aren't I blocking? I need to. Uh, I don't know. Oh, bonus attack is perfect here. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Give this man a cool bean. Can't draw any cards. Didn't have the cool bean last turn, so you can't draw one. Didn't draw a card this turn. Yeah, Winter Squash cool bean right now. That would be cool. It didn't have it. I think our opponent would have played it last turn. Why not? It'll just freeze everything and get bounced. And that is guaranteed lethal. The mill. The mill victory. That is guaranteed lethal. Let's do it with some style. Uh, no block. No block, no block, no block. The mill is real. Got him. <laughs> Slow Rose. We just beat Slows. Just beat Slows right in the face. Got him. I'd like to take this opportunity to give a little shout out to Tryhard, who was the original inventor of mill decks, really, in this game. Really had the great idea of doing the um, bounces and the brain vendors, Pogo Minx of Grave Diggers. So. He's a creative man. What can I say? Ole. What's the worst superpower? 
Um, Zemex used to be the worst. He used to say that. Now he's one of the best things. Last you, night, when I was playing, I got three HG superpowers out of Quasars, and it was so funny. Because it was a late game deck, and it was so funny because he played with a swarm deck. <laughs> cool. So you got his super three times? That's insane. Pogo's good. It's not that good because of Grave Buster, but usually against Mega Grow Heroes, it's fine. Um, let's get rid of the teleport, I guess. Ooh! Ah. We need a six. Oh, we need a six. Another Brain Vendor? Come on, man. We need one of our big cards. Teleportation Station? Why? No, there's no win, win streak bonus in Taka. Else we would have ranked up a long time ago. I don't think we play this, right? No. Come on, where's Kitchen Sink? It's not even that good because he has Shamrock at the Guardian class. It's so good. Ugh. Stickweed. I think we'll be destroying that. It's not smart to play against a guy, especially he's Giganticus, who would pass his turn two. It's not good to play in an environment. It's just not smart. Come on, give us a six. Give us a shark. Please, why? No, we finally got the combo. We didn't get one of our big cards. We didn't even get Mix of Gravedigger, which would have been amazing here. What a fun amazing. Alright, let's do it like this. I guess I'll use the teleport. Just the turn. Why did it go on heights? Ugh. If it would have gone, I would have gone for the what's it called? Okay, damn it. Let's teleport first. See what we get. Please give us a big card. There you go. Wait. Oh, we can play helicopter this turn. Ah! We pulled it off. Yes. <laughs> We actually did it! Wow! This is called the at the end of the day didn't work out. The ramp is real! Yes! Yes! Go, Helicopter! Oh, I want one more big card for next turn. That'll be good. And this dies, so we can do the Brain Vendor combo again. Give us one more big card. Mixed up Gravedigger. Let's go! Ah, Fire Rooster. I don't like it. We can't do Fire Rooster Bounce though, it's not bad. We can't anyway, I don't even need to do the Brain Vendor for that. Brain Vendor to take that out, Fire Rooster Bounce. Uh, fine, the Brain Vendor will die. Uh, it's probably worth it. Then we can use Teleportation Station also. That uh, should be fine. So Fire Rooster, Bounce, Teleportation Station looks just fine. Whew! <laughs> it's, it's called the last case scenario. Definitely bouncing this. And we'll... we'll um, it might get block and get super, so we'll do this here so we definitely get the, uh, get the teleport. Teleport will give us a card, which is really all we need. We just need cards right now. Yeah, that kills the <laughs> plant turns to six. We could win here. No, you're also three on the six damage. Come on. The luck is not real. That's why we put the teleportation there. Just so we'll get the teleport for sure. Yeah, I could use a, you know, any any small card. There is kitchen sink. No, we got a six cost. <laughs> Come on, man. Not good. So teleport, maybe we'll get something. No, there's another one of these freaking cards. Mix up Gravedigger wouldn't be bad here, actually. Actually, no, we can't mix up Gravedigger. Uh, I think we do play this, actually. Die. I would love to play something in the teleportation state. There you go. That is exactly what we needed. That is perfect. Oh, there's no better card there because just he has enough cards already. That, that it's just for us to get. We can play another thing in the nebula now, probably. Uh no, we can't. Oh yeah, we can. Wait, if we do this, we'll have yeah, we'll have enough for the pogo now too. Ha! <laughs> pogo value. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Die. <laughs> 
<laughs> ah, I love this deck. We're about to go 9 and 1. We had the first game was so unlucky we lost, but <laughs> come on guys, this deck was so good. Ah, it's perfect. Ah, I gotta love it. Gotta love it. <laughs> ah, nailed it. I lost the first game to like a freeze deck. It's just it was really unlucky for you. Thank you, I did a campaign. Let's say our battle time. Okay, yeah, we'll do some PvP.